Hi, welcome to your for sale by owner coach. My name is Nate Storm and this video is all about how to show your home when selling it by owner. With me here today are Jennifer Enghauser and Laura Bright. Both are sales managers and real estate trainers with homefinder.com. In addition, Jennifer is an active agent with JDA Realty and Laura's worked in Chicago's real estate marketplace since 1991, originally as an agent with Coldwell Banker. Jennifer, when potential buyers first walk into a home, how should homeowners make them feel welcome? First impressions are important. When somebody walks into a house, you want to make them feel warm, greet them warmly. Once you've done that, make sure you uncover everything that they're looking for in a home. What's important to them? What are the highlights of a home? What brought them to this house? And once you know that, you can use that information to show them the home. Once potential home buyers are greeted, is there a specific route that they should be taken through the home during a showing? Well, Nate, every home does have its own natural flow, and the buyers will find that. It's important that the owner doesn't crowd them or make them feel nervous or watched while they're exploring their home and looking through all of its features. Um, it's a good idea also for the owner to practice beforehand with a neighbor or friend or relative so they can perfect their own home tour. You already mentioned asking potential buyers some specific questions at the beginning of the showing. Are there any additional pieces of information that should be gathered from potential buyers? Sure, ask them what's their timeline or even if they've been pre-qualified. If they're working with another agent, ask the agent, what other homes are you showing them? What have they seen? And how does this home compare? You'd like to get that information up front so the owner knows what they should focus on. All good questions. That said, are there specific things that a homeowner should not mention when showing their home? Absolutely. Once you've uncovered what they're looking for, try to focus on that, not so much in information that they're not interested in. Also, everybody who walks through your home deserves the same respect and dignity. Try not to tell them information that they're not interested in. Focus on the Fair Housing Act of 1968. This act basically says that you cannot refuse to rent or sell a home to anybody of race, nationality, origin, gender, etc. Thanks, Jennifer. A homeowner might be a bit nervous to show a home if they've never done it before. Is there anything that a person selling a house by owner should do differently than a real estate agent who has more experience? Absolutely. I think it's really easy to get focused on the emotional attachment to you, that you have to the house as the owner. Try to remove yourself from that emotional attachment and focus on being professional, impartial, flexible, and be open to criticism. Yeah, I'm sure it is hard for homeowners to stay impartial, but I would imagine that it's very important. What other types of information should a homeowner have on hand to give to potential buyers? Well, a homeowner should always have plenty of color printouts from their forsalebyowner.com site, uh, as well as any other professional brochures that they've made. It's a great idea to have all of your seller disclosures up front. You'd like complete transparency with all prospective buyers. Um, it's important too, if you're part of a condo or townhouse association, to have all the recent rules and regulations and financial documents. You'd like to show the state and health of that community, as well as the past 12 months utility history. Uh, everything you have, you want to be able to give in a nice packet to each buyer. Great. And what should a homeowner do about pets when showing a home? Is it okay to leave them in the house during a showing? It's not really okay to let the, ho that the pet run freely through the home. If you can, remove the pet from the house or try to have them crated. Laura, lastly, you and Jennifer have already mentioned that it's important for a homeowner to ask the buyer specific questions, but is there a good way to gauge buyer's interest and to get feedback after a showing? There is, Nate. Ask the buyer how they'd like to be followed up with, whether it's phone or email, and then ask them after they've reviewed all the materials um, and digested all that information. How did this home compare? Would they like to proceed and make an offer? If they're working with an agent, ask the agent if you can follow up with them as well. Well, there you have it. Thanks to Jennifer and Laura from HomeFinder.com for arming us with all of the information that homeowners will need to successfully show their homes.